The world is in the midst of a COVID-19 pandemic. Developing a COVID-19 vaccine for it to be safe and effective takes time. The World Health Organization and their partners work together in tracking the pandemic and distributing vital medical supplies to those in need. They are also racing to find the vaccine. Currently, there are more than 100 vaccine candidates under development. With many clinical trials and a number of these are already in its third phase, the final step before a vaccine is approved. Let's take a look on five vaccines that are now on their phase three clinical trial and see how much more time they need to produce the final version of the vaccine. Welcome to Better Every Day, your source of information in matters of self-improvement, health, motivation, and self-help. Hello and nice to see you again. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you can be updated with the latest videos which might be of help to your self-improvement. Sinovac Vaccine China's Sinovac is now leading the COVID-19 vaccine race. According to FDA Director General Eric Domingo, Sinovac is the only vaccine that has passed the pre-screening of the Vaccine Expert Panel and is set to start clinical trial here in the Philippines. It is also the first vaccine to submit all data that was required by the Vaccine Expert Panel. The FDA is also asking Sinovac for other documents such as labeling and certificates and in study design before it undergoes technical and regulatory review. Once Sinovac has completed all its requirements and has been granted approval from the Ethics Board, it may start its Phase 3 clinical trials. According to the Department of Health under Secretary Maria Rosario Verhere, if the vaccine has no problem at all, the Research Ethics Board will review and ensure the safety of the clinical trial participants. Philippine Ambassador to China, Chito Santa Romana, reminded that the Philippines must have enough cold chain storage facilities. De La Pena said that the government has a budget for such endeavor. The OH USEC for Harry assured that we planned out other storage facilities here in the country. We already check their capacity and our inventories, just like the RITM, or Research Institute for Tropical Medicine, our biggest storage food facility in the country. It's not going to be an issue when it comes to warehousing and distribution because it's not that plenty as what we envision it to be. Oxford COVID-19 Vaccine one volunteer who participated in the clinical trial of a COVID-19 vaccine that was created by the Oxford University in Brazil died. The clinical trial halted temporarily after this. Despite the death, the clinical trial of the vaccine created by the pharmaceutical firm AstraZeneca will still continue after they found out that the cause was not the vaccine. The clinical trial has reached 8,000 vaccinated volunteers in Brazil. Drug maker AstraZeneca says, The COVID-19 vaccine being developed at the University of Oxford, which is in the late stages of clinical trials, has had positive results in older people, over the age of 56, and produced the same antibody response as younger volunteers. The elderly has a weaker immune system and are more likely to get severely ill from the virus. Fewer side effects were also reported in the older volunteers. The Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is one of the 11 that has reached phase 3 clinical trials in the field of 50 potential vaccines being worked on in 32 countries. We anticipate efficacy readouts from phase 2-3 trials between now and the end of the year. And if approved within countries, doses of the potential vaccine could be available for use before the end of the year, said the spokesperson of AstraZeneca. 
Novavax. In September 2020, Novavax Incorporated announced that it has initiated its Phase 3 study of NVX COV-2373, Novavax COVID-19 vaccine candidate. In partnership with UK government's Vaccine Task Force, the UK Phase 3 clinical trials are being conducted in United Kingdom and is expected to enroll and immunize 10,000 people between 18 to 84 years of age over the next 4 to 6 weeks. The early results from its Phase 1 and 2 trials showed that the vaccine triggered an immune response similar to those seen in patients who had recovered from the disease, but the data had not been peer-reviewed. Today, it expanded its trials to 15,000 patients from its original goal of 10,000, Novavax said in a statement on October 27, 2020. So far, more than 5,500 patients have enrolled. Novavax is expected to report data as soon as the first quarter of 2021. Moderna Moderna develops vaccines based on messenger RNA to produce viral proteins in the body. They began developing a vaccine for the coronavirus in January as their government provided them nearly $1 billion in support. In March, the company put the first COVID-19 vaccine into human trials. The Moderna vaccine induced anti-SARS-CoV-2 immune responses in all the participants. These findings support further development of this vaccine. It has completed its enrollment for the Phase 3 vaccine study. In October, they had finished recruiting all 30,000 participants in the study, including 7,000 people 65 years or older. Moderna Incorporated Chief Executive Stephanie Bansell said that if the company gets positive interim results by November from a large clinical trial, the federal government could authorize emergency use of the company's experimental COVID-19 vaccine in December. BioNTech, Pfizer, and Fosun Pharma The German company BioNTech collaborated with Pfizer, based in New York, and the Chinese drug maker Fosun Pharma to develop an mRNA vaccine. They launched the Phase 1-2 trial in May. The two given doses or versions cost volunteers to produce antibodies against SARS-CoV-2 and immune cells called T-cells that respond to the virus. The companies launched the Phase 2-3 trials on July 27 with 30,000 volunteers in the United States and other countries including Argentina, Brazil, and Germany. Pfizer and BioNTech indicated on October 27 that its Phase 3 clinical trial of 44,000 volunteers now needs fewer than 2,000 people to be fully enrolled. They may have data from the trial by the end of October, but it was pushed back by a few weeks. But there is a possibility for submitting for emergency use authorization with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration sometime in November. If the trial results are positive, the vaccine will be made available to the public by the end of the year. Pfizer's Chief Executive Officer Albert Bourla indicated that the Pfizer was advancing its vaccine manufacturing programs and is expected to be able to provide about 40 million doses, enough for 20 million people, by the end of this year. Please like and share. Goodbye!